Hi everyone, Trisha Keel, Tomorrow's Key. Welcome back to our new series on benefactors and travel. We're going to be looking at the gua that is located in your home in the front right section of your house from the front door. This is the same gua is of course in any room from the main door uh, or on any surface uh, or vertical or horizontal again in the front right area this is an area of small metal energy you'll recall that small metal or small energy is energy that man has interacted with the small wood energy of wealth as opposed to the large wood energy of family as is comes from man planting seeds growing growing the crops harvesting the crops carving the wood, building the home, all the things that man makes money from, or fortunate blessings or wonderful things um, that come from wood or from vegetation or the things that would grow in the ground. So this one, this gua is about small metal, which has to do with the difference between a, a chunk of raw metal and what man has done with it. Now, benefactors and travel always come together. It took me a while to figure out why this was paired. What does benefactors have to do with travel? Well, over the years, I've figured this out, so I'll figure I'll show this with you. When, when you, whenever you travel, unless you're swimming, you are traveling by means of metal that men have worked with. Now, there's a big chunk, a difference between a chunk of iron that you dig up out of the ground and the metal of the body of your car as you're driving down the road. A big difference. A lot of people have made a difference to uh, allow that chunk of metal to become your vehicle. There's people that are making the car, there's people that are making the tires, there's people that are building the roads and making the gas and teaching you to drive and it, it just goes on and on. The number of people that are involved in seeing to it that there is a network of uh, highways uh, and infrastructure of this country or any other country. To get from here to there is a, a little easier via the energy of small metal. So uh, I, I know that I would not want to have been one of the ones that took a machete and cut through the jungles of South Texas uh, here in Houston, uh, landing at Allen Parkway, trying to, or Allen Parkway, Allen's Landing, trying to hack my way into the jungles to find a place to set up camp with, it, it wouldn't, just, no, not, doesn't work for me. I'm spoiled with air conditioning, thank you, and God bless Mr. Carrier. Another benefactor of mine, by the way. Um, your benefactors can include your parents, your grandparents, aunts, uncles, any relatives that helped you learn to get along in society. Uh, get along with your brothers and sisters. Get along with all the people that swim with us in the ocean of life. Um, they helped uh, assist us to get through the rough spots and the, the stuck, stagnant spots by uh, sharing their advice and sharing their experience and placing a, a even a well-timed or deserved palm on the backside of, of your uh, body in order to get you going in the right direction. Benefactors can also include your gods, your angels and saints, depending upon your culture. It could, depend, it could include People that you respect, such as um, uh, historical figures or, or religious figures, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., Mahatma Gandhi, um, Caesar, Napoleon, Benjamin Franklin. It could be any number of people that, that uh, have gone into your thoughts that have helped guide or shape your thinking that help you make the choices. To, that you make uh, based upon your own personal integrity or, or preferences. So benefactors are, are very much godfathers, godmothers, people that are generally a little older, or they're probably silver at the temples and, and they've got some money and they've got some connections and they might call someone and tell them you're looking for a job or they might help you find uh, the best place to get your car fixed, or they might advise you upon a decision that you're having a hard time making. Um, there's any number of ways. Uh, I can tell you um, that one of the things you might need to remember is that benefactors generally wait to help until they're asked. So 
they're dying for you to ask. Uh, even if they have already passed on in this life, if you ask, then they can help you. But they, the rule is, as you probably know, um, angels and, and those who have gone before us cannot help unless we specifically ask. So think of them as standing around like a Labrador Retriever waiting for you to throw the ball. Throw the ball! Ask! They, they want to help. So um, there's a, a little tidbit there for you to know. Now, if this, you need to look at where your benefactor Gua is in the, in the shape of your home. If this is outside of the house, then you want to square off your area with, using earth energy, like the driveway or a brick patio or maybe a, a bird bath where the, the front face of the house and the side wall of the house would come together. Um, all metal that was ever mined came out of the earth, so earth energy creates metal energy and that that helps promote um, metal energy just as much as water helps to feed wood energy so square off missing areas there using earth if this is where your garage is in your home then you want to go out there and you want to clean out that garage and you want to get everything organized and you want to park your vehicles in garage. not all the kids toys not all the garbage cans not 16 years of junk that you don't want to deal with um, this area ties directly to your um, wealth and fortunate blessings area. Your benefactors include your clients and vendors. If they can't get to you and you can't get to them and they can't get your products and your products can't get to them and they can't refer you and you can't refer them, then you're not going to have wealth and fortunate blessings. So yes, it's definitely not an area you want stagnant energy. This is also the area of energy for the male head of household. This is heaven energy. So the father, the godfather, and the man who's in charge of your household needs all the help he can get. If this area is blocked, if he hadn't already lost his job, he's not doing as at well in his profession as he could be doing. And all of the family who's filling up that garage, even in, though it may be him, are feeling the effects of the clutter in this place. I encourage you to consider promoting the flow of energy in the Benefactor and Travel Gua. Uh, if you're cleaning out the garage, as I have mentioned before, be sure you have your cell phone on you or the house phone on you while you're doing it because the phone will ring. I look forward to visiting with you tomorrow in the next installment of Benefactors and Travel. Till then, hope to tell your friends and see you soon.